Well, you ought to see my blue-eyed Sally. She lives way down on Jim Bone Alley. The number on the gate and the number on the door. The next house over is a grocery store. Stay all night, stay a little longer. Dance all night, dance a little longer. Pull off your coat and throw it in the corner. Don't see why it don't stay a little longer. When the little creeks level, climb my corn with a double shovel. Stay all night, stay a little longer, dance all night, dance a little longer, pull off your coat and throw it in the corner. Don't see why it don't stay a little longer. We have uh, Alana James and Whit Smith here with us. Whit's the guitar player and singer, and Alana's the fiddler and singer. And I read the story of you guys. Is it true that you really, I mean, is, or is that just legend that you answered an ad and that's how you, in the village voice? Is that true or not? It's true. It's yeah. true. Yeah. Who put the I, ad I in? I placed the ad because I wanted to join a band, like a working band. Right. Because I figured like I could just play fiddle and on the side, yeah. and um, I specified only wanted people who had working bands to yeah. respond to my ad. And then Wit called me back. He called me up, and yeah. he didn't have a working band. But you know, we I had we, vision though. He pretended I had like vision. he had a. Hey, you have to. Sometimes you have to act as if. That's right. You know, and and then it happened, and it did and happen it did, in it a did, big way. It did, yeah, yeah. Were you already playing in another band then? Or no, how, I was like, I was doing an internship at Harper's Magazine, and I oh. was like, wanted to, I had been playing in a cowboy band in Colorado, and I came back to New York, and I was missing playing like Western kind of music. So when, when Wit started talking about Bob Wills and stuff, I'd never even heard of Bob Wills, and I wasn't at all familiar with that genre. And as soon as I started listening to these recordings, um, you know, I heard Johnny Gimble play right around that time, and his just his playing was so incredible. Yeah. I just was like, I can't believe this person is out there. I've never heard of him, and I felt like if he had devoted his life to this kind of playing, it was like good enough for me, you know. And we've gone on to play with. Were you, and, were you from New York? Did you? Uh, no, I'm from Kansas, but I went to college there. And what about you? Where, 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 did, where did you grow up? I got Massachusetts and Connecticut. Mostly. How did you get introduced then to Bob Wills? How did that happen? Working in a record store and just listening to all kinds of music until something that jumped out. moved me. Yeah, yeah, and it did. The yeah, Bob well, it's, it's so strong. The flavor is so strong. Musicianship is so good, and it appeals to such a wide range of people. That's one of the things that I love about this band is that I could. My parents are still alive. They're 86, 83. I could bring them to see you. They think, God, this is a great band. <laughs> I could bring my children who are eight and five, and they would say, Wow, Dad, this is a great band. Wow. That's that's rare. Sweet, thank you. Know, you know, that, that's rare though, and any, it's true, because the music is what's not to like. It's fun, it's good. I think Western swing is like maybe a lot of people our age aren't familiar with it or like they don't know what to call it, but it's certainly like a generation before us, it's like if you just scratch the surface, a lot of people, I mean Willie Nelson obviously, you know, Bob Dylan, they're very familiar with exactly what we do, only it's like after World War II people like Elvis and rock and roll came, but this was like very, very popular, you know, oh, and yeah. so it, it is like inspired a lot of people who went on to, like I guess probably, I just think of somebody like, Leonard Cohen or Lyle Lovett or just all these people who are very musical, very imaginative, but have a sort of traditional, sophisticated style. Like I feel this music is came right before them, you know. Absolutely, they're, they're, I can think both Bob Wills and Louis Jordan are two people that a lot of people, the public doesn't know about, and yet they are really seminal figures in American popular music. For sure, and they and they bridge the gap between like uh, 30s and 40s jazz and what became rock and roll and pop music later, and they're both in their own way in a, in a kind of hybrid style. Totally. Yeah. You know, and, and they're, they're, they're really, once again, very important figures, and yet not as well known. Right. It's, it's possible, too, I'm not, you know, in my opinion, that, that Western Swing kept evolving to, to the point where it evolved out of what it had become. You know, it began, and it became something else over time, and then 
so generate you know it didn't last very long it was no. only around like 10 years yeah whereas it was basically the 50s wasn't it i mean well that's 40s. the thing is is the 50s is what everybody remembers and then it sort of changed and became more like the ray price style country right. that shuffle country right which is fantastic stuff but entirely different but different right yeah so like in the 30s they would have Bob Wills would have fortified his bands with musicians who were listening to Louis Armstrong or Count yeah. Basie. Yeah. And then as time went by and things, you know, equipment played a part too, as the electric bass and the drums and the microphones and things. Electric guitar. Oh, you know, yeah. it just changed so much. Yeah. And then, you know, what people wanted to hear as R&B developed and, you know, rock and roll developed. And then yeah. in Western Swing tried to imitate it or became more country and yeah. then it was gone. It was, it was unique because instead of saxophones, you had fiddles doing a lot of the lines and things. Totally. That, that the big bands were doing with saxes and clarinets. Yeah, steel and, guitar, guitar, yeah. mandolins. And then you had a flamboyant leader who oh, yeah. took a personality like Bob Wills oh, yeah, yeah. to sell it, and he, which he, I'm sure he could sell anything to anybody. Every eye on the room was on him. That's yeah, it right. had to be. Yeah. I, mean, I never saw the man except for in film and stuff. In person, I never saw him. I was I'm too Me neither. young for we, that. Yeah. But it must have been really fun. It's just like Louis Jordan. It must have been incredible to see those people perform. Mm -hmm. And I think I've also heard that he elicited performances out of those guys that never really, they weren't, even them, they themselves said they were never able to repeat that level of playing. I mean, not everybody, but that he had such charisma that he just like lit the fire under you their You had butts. to play on the edge of your seat. If you weren't, if you weren't given like 110%, there's another guy who was dying to take your place. Yeah, you know? well, that's, that's what it's all about. What's, what's next now that you guys are back on the road? And uh, what, how many dates do you play a year? We trimmed it down this past year. We did a record low of a hundred. Wow. <laughs> but uh, just you know, I think we're trying to reshape some of the way we do stuff because we don't want to just like pound the pavement forever. And I mm -hmm. think uh, we've reached a point where you know we want to keep working a lot, but we don't we don't want to do stuff that there's no point in doing. You know, right. so. Uh, I don't know, but we're going to try to see what's going on. We've got a lot of stuff booked already, though, for this year. A lot of nice festivals um, in the U.S. and also in Europe. And I think having a record that has a focused theme, this is something we've never done before, but, like, this is a Western swing record that's a tribute to Bob Wills. I mean, we made it in two days, but I think people Well, we can, played those songs for 12 well, yeah, years, yeah. though. <laughs> but I think I it's easy to, to explain that, to say this is what this is, and I think that that's helped us already. I can feel people are able to get their head around it instead of us kind of always saying, well, we do a little of this and we do a yeah. little, you know. Yeah, so, for this record it is, it's got a handle. Yeah, and we might, it's, I, I kind of like that, it's something yeah. peaceful about it, so maybe the next record will be like a straight up standards, you know. Or, and the fact you did it in two days is really great and, and that's, that's, a, that's a good revelation because the great thing about their music, one of the great things is that it's, it sounds spontaneous, it's simple, you got three pieces, it sounds full, it sounds like a whole band, a big band in a way, because it feels like it has percussion, which it does with the bass and with your guitar. But I mean, sometimes I'm thinking I'm hearing drums, you know, just because of the slap of the bass and things. And uh, and yet, it got, it's got that kind of total, it's like I walked in the room and you guys were playing feel to it, which people love that. I mean, I do, I think it's a great thing. I do too. Go see them live. Uh, you can, uh, if, you're, if you happen to be, are, is, is Roxy Music gonna be all here and there or just over there? So far, just over there. Yeah, they just go in just British Isles. UK and then they go to Australia and then who knows. Yeah. Are sure. you going with them to Australia or not? That would be great. No, I don't. We have just seven yet. shows booked right now. With seven starting. shows over there, and then you come back. But they're traveling, and you should be able to catch them. Where, where can we find your schedule on, online? Hot Club where? of Cowtown. Yeah. Hotclubofcowtown.com. That's it. Go there. Go see them in the club and the concert at the festival because. And bring your kids. Bring your parents. Your you dog, can't lose. Bring your dog. You can't lose. Thank you guys for coming back. Good to see Thanks, you. Thanks, Larry. Thank you.